What's up, Esquad? Squally! Oh, we got something to tell you. Well, first and foremost, <laughs> what? how y'all doing? It feel like it's been a while. It's been a long time. We, we be trying to get back on it, but then like we just don't have the time. Nah. We'll have time to record, but then we won't have time to edit. Yes. And then we'll have time to edit, yes. but then we won't have time to record. So like we don't want to just be putting one off, so we just took a break, right? Yeah, a much needed break though. I feel like now we're at a point where we're just ready to get back at it, full force, mm -hmm. no distractions, no excuses. I think I think um, y'all gonna expect a lot of content from us coming up. Now, can I can I tell you what I have to tell you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Okay, close your eyes. All right, here we go. This is typically. Not I don't know good. if y'all ready. Are you ready? I don't know if I'm ready. But let's go. Come on. Is it a good surprise? Bad surprise? Like. Okay. Open your eyes. Ah! <laughs> Y'all, we're having Yo! baby number three. Wait. Yeah. Three. There you go. Guys, our family is getting bigger. Oh Buy gosh. one more. So obviously he did already I know. know. We were just playing yeah. for the camera. <laughs> uh, I really, I should have recorded like his reaction, but it was such a crazy experience. Yeah. All right. Uh, my wife knows her body. That's all I'm going to say. She knows oh. her body. Oh, y'all want to see the bump? Look at the bump. Mm. It's mm. almost as big mm. as my butt. No, it's not. Oh my gosh. At this point, y'all, we are outnumbered. Like, that's it. I'm not having no more kids, but I'm very excited <laughs> to be having this. What? Because we. Are, Why are, you gotta say that? What if I want one more? Like, one more. I always said I wanted four to five kids, and this is number three. Okay? Anyway, so excited, though. She, my wife knows her body. And she kept saying, she's like, I think I'm pregnant. I think I'm pregnant. And I'm like, no, nah, man, I don't know. I don't know. Baby, and that sure is enough, not how you were. Okay, he is just being all extra and excited and happy. He was freaking losing his mind, okay? Whoa. When I told him, I was like, I think I'm pregnant. I, I'm really freaking tired. Like, this, it feels like that tired of when I'm pregnant. Like, I, ju I just know my body. I'm like, I just know my body, okay? Well, if you would let me finish. Initially, I was like, nah, no way, no way, no way. It became, like, more and more of a conversation. Probably after, like, the third day of her saying it, I was just like, uh-oh. All right, man. Like, he got really stressed out, y'all. Yeah. My turn. He was so stressed out. Like, he was literally walking around with his head. He was soaking he was deep in thought most of the time yeah. like so quiet and like i'm just here like uh -huh, i could be pregnant i don't know we don't know like what's going on and he's like oh this is so we're not ready yeah. oh oh we're not ready babies are so expensive da -da 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 -da. and i'm like he's like just take a test just take a test i'm like i'm pretty sure i'm pregnant and it's not that i didn't want to take a test it's just that i didn't want to take a test too early and then i got you know like the wrong answer like it, it told me no or yes I don't know I just didn't want to take a test too early because I'm like maybe my period might still come because what happens y'all when it's time to be pregnant the time that you would get your period is a time that like you get all like the the symptoms for me at least that's when it hits like literally the day that I'm supposed to get my period I get cramps but then my period never comes so that's what happened to me I was in like an acting what, what was it um we did like an improv day or whatever so uh, that night I had went out and I remember I was telling this girl I was like girl you got you got some medicine because I, I got cramps so my period's about to come so she gave me some medicine the cramps kind of subsided came back home the the cramps were gone never got cramps again but my period didn't come either and then I was exhausted like a bus hit me a thousand times over that's always what happens to me so that is how I always know I'm pregnant and I'm stressed because we've got two already and they're small and I love my children they're a lot kids are just generally a lot yeah I felt like you know given everything going on in our lives right now the things that like she's got going on I was just like yo is this the right time no I you know agree. and I, I had like, I had I just it's not that I wasn't excited I guess I just had more concerns about whether or not the timing was right or we were in the best the best position to be taking this on because there was always a conversation of having more kids I don't think that was that was a negotiable thing I think like we were pretty sure we were gonna have more kids it was just when and we were just like we spent Sorry, our camera, um, something's going on with, it just cut off on us, so. Like I was saying, we had always planned on having kids, having more kids, but mm -hmm. based on just where we were, where we, yeah, are, were in life, I was like, yo, is it really the right time? I'm, I'm scared, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm scared. You know, so you kinda, we kinda had that, those up and downs and those questions, at, at least I had those. 
concerns? I think the main concern for me was like, I'm doing, I'm an actress, right? So I book a show on Tubi and I'm a series regular and I'm really like diving into being an actress. It's hard freaking work because in the beginning you don't get paid like that. Like you don't get money. So you have to put in a lot of work. You got to go to classes. You have to be present. You have to network. You have to do so much stuff. Okay, and then on top of that, you need to make money to pay for all of this shit and then pay for all the bills and then pay. Okay, yeah, so I think that's where my concern was because I had literally just booked that series, right? And I was like, damn, like, how do mm -hmm. I tell them? Like, should I tell them? Like, I have to tell them. Like, I can't, you know, because I didn't know when filming was. I was worried about that. It's so much work. And like, and we know how much work it is. We've been in it since 2019, you know, like Tony got here and granted, we were lucky, like COVID and quarantine gave us a lot of time with her. Like, that was fantastic. Yeah. But, you know, then we had Tori and trying to get like life back professionally, personally, it gets challenging with kids. And we know like it's 18 months from so, when they get here that like, we're just... We're in it. Yeah, on goal. Because that's the time. At 18 months, that's when we have decided that that's a good time for us to send our babies to, like, daycare and stuff. Like, before that, we just can't. Like, we cannot do it. Like, I can't. Mm -mm. I need my baby to at least walk it. and be able to communicate in some capacity to us a little bit. Yeah. So, yeah. So, it's 18 months. And Tori literally just started daycare the other day. So, go watch that video because that is going to be on the Saints Family 2. T-O-O. Uh, yeah, her first day at daycare. Is so sweet, my baby. Baby, but we finally got our day back yeah. so that we can work hard, get the money, go hard in our careers and everything. And now we have <laughs> another, another one. little one coming. Yeah. So, you know, those are the concerns. We were like, man, you know, like we're just, yeah. we're like, we're very hands on parents. Yeah. You know, so we're not just like the whole, like, let's just, we'll have a baby, put him in front of an iPad or a television or all these just things, right? Like, we know, yourself, like, like yeah. we know what we want for our kids mm -hmm. and how important it is that, that we are, you know, teaching them things, reading to them, spending that quality time with them. Yeah. Um, and a lot of times that comes with a sacrifice, that sacrifice being the things that we want to do on our own or together uh professionally and personally yeah yeah it, just like you said like we're so present like it's very important for us to make sure our kids know their colors their letters mm -hmm. their numbers like speaking well communication all of that mm -hmm. stuff that we make sure we do on a day-to-day -day basis and then you know then they have their routines and then they gotta eat and then they gotta nap it's a lot of yeah. work of being a parent mm -hmm. but we do love it and we cherish it and as much as we were worried in the beginning once i feel like it hit us like listen like you're gonna have another baby it just it is what it is this was your destiny enjoy it and i feel like we really need like hold into that and i yeah. think we're really excited now yeah and i think what i can speak for you when I say, myself included, like, there's nothing I enjoy more than being a parent. Yeah. You know? Even when, like, it was confirmed, that feeling, that rush of love, you can't, you can't fight that. You can't help that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know really what else to say about it. But, yeah. Um, baby's moving, baby's mm -hmm. kicking, baby's yeah. healthy. Baby is causing me a lot of pain. And I'm mm -hmm. going to talk about that on my channel because that's just like a woman thing. And my channel is more for like, you know, like just being a woman and like talking about woman's stuff and reviews and just so much womanly stuff only on my channel. So I will be talking about the woman experience of having baby number three. Also, please go check that out whenever you want to, if you care. I don't know, but it's very, it's, this is a, it's, every pregnancy is different. Yeah. It's crazy, but I'm really excited for this journey, baby. I love Me you too. so I love much. You. And he wants to get his tube side. Stop. Dude, I told um, him. I, I said, not, what if we not ever tied, snipped? Oh, snip. Sorry. My tube. Snipped. <laughs> my my <God>. tube. <laughs> my tube. The tube that I have. The one tube that I want to get that snip. My bad. You want my tube side. Yeah, you can do it's whatever you want with your tubes. No. I but love I'm going to take my tube and, okay, YouTube. Peace out. Corny Snoop, tube. tube. Corny tube. <laughs> <laughs> Corny tube. Make sure y'all subscribe. Like, like this video. Share with your friends. And follow us on Instagram at it's the Saints at Lisa Unique. At Trev underscore Saint. Yeah, we have just so much more content coming. We are coming yeah. in banging with the bangers, I guess. But we have about a good four months to get like mad content out there until baby comes. Four, five months, five months, four months, five months, something like that. We we'll figure it out. And given the amount of pain that my wife's having, she's gonna be on here probably just doing some rants and all kinds of whatever's to complain to y'all about what this one is doing to her. Okay, you wanna see the belly one more time? Of course. Ugh. What do y'all think so in the cute. comments? She's wearing blue, but don't let that like oh, don't yeah. let that fool you. We don't know, we don't know what the we don't gender know the is gender yet. yet.
Comment Look, below. Such a cute picture. It is. Comment below. Let it's us so know. Sweaty. Do I stink? No, you don't. Do I smell like sweat? Mm -mm. Ew. I that's, can tell you took a shower today. That's fucking sweaty. Okay. I can tell you took a shower. All right. I need to pick another one though. So mm -hmm. fine. <laughs>